Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. This is Metatrona speaking. I'm going to be doing a video today on uh, a recent experience that I had with a brand new dragon that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we haven't had a lot of videos recently and one of the reasons is that everything that I've been channeling from Metatron or other guides has been for the book that Metatron wants me to continue to work on um, to get that out eventually. <clears throat> it's probably going to take me like a year <laughs> at least to gather all that information. But so, you know, he wants me to obviously keep working on that. Um, so I've also been working on two new services this week. Two. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, the one is not, well, neither one of them are out yet, but one of the services is actually the reason that this new dragon was brought to me. So I want to kind of briefly touch on that. So one of the services that should be put out in the next couple days, if not already, by the time you see this video, um, it's going to be called Black Magic Clearing and Protection. And so that's what it's for, obviously. I have two clients currently that are dealing with current life situations where they're experiencing black magic. So basically, how they are experiencing it is that... And this is how people experience it. So when a person... When someone who is incarnated in a body is a magical person, dark magic, um, and they're wishing harm on another person or they're wishing an attachment to another person that doesn't want the attachment, normally both, almost always both, because how can they be your victim unless they have you attached to them in some way? So two different clients that are dealing with this. Um, a lot of people don't realize that they have lifetimes like this in their past. So how it would show up. So let's say you have a past life where you had a situation with black magic. It might show up in a current life as a block or a difficulty or a, a recurring pattern or an Ill inability to do something specific. So it's probably not going to show up very loudly in your current life. If you had this in your past life, obviously if it is in your current life, black magic shows up very loudly and it's very clear that it's going on. So I set up the service or it will be set up very soon. So let me tell you about this dragon. Um, so I was in the middle of putting together my work for that session. And I had a dragon come to me that was, it was like all black, but the, um, like the tips of the dragon were red. Um, yeah, it just had like red tips, like on its face and like all down its back. Um, and so he was huge. And the reason I know he was huge is as soon as he came to me, I like recognized him on a spiritual level, even though I didn't recognize him on a this incarnation level. So he comes to me and I like grab his head. And so his entire, his, the front of his head is the size of my entire body. So I'm like grabbing his face to hug him. Anyways, um, he is a like an earth dragon or what I call a forest dragon. Um, and the reason, the way I recognize that is that I see them with what looks like jewels, what looks like faceted gemstones embedded in their head. So this one has red ones. And so it was kind of funny because... So, I, you know, I hug the dragon and I'm like, what's his name? What's his name? And so a lot of times when I get names, it's one letter at a time because it's very difficult for me to channel names. Just certain things are 
really difficult to channel. Names are very hard for me. So he starts giving me the letters of the name, right? And I can tell, I'm like, okay, it's four letters. It starts with I-N. So I'm like, cool, you know, what's this going to be? And um, and all of a sudden I start laughing. I'm like, you, was it Metatron then? Okay, so Metatron, I guess, gave me the name. He gave me the name Inky, I-N-K-Y. And I started laughing because I was like, his name is not Inky. Like they said that because he's black. And so sometimes Metatron just has like the funniest names. And so I was laughing really hard. I was like, so is his name Inky or not? And they're like, no, oh, his name's not Inky. So his name's Inyo, I-N-Y-O. <laughs> it was really funny. I laughed for a long time. Um, He has just the wittiest names. Okay. So... So this dragon, I'm like, cool, I have a new dragon. His name is Inyo. Great. I still have to work. So I'm like trying to get back to work. And the dragon like wraps around me. I'm like, oh, this is like so protective. I'm just like this little person. And there's this giant dragon around me. Cool. And um wraps around me. And then from his base of his neck, he starts growing two more heads. He's got two more necks that come out with two more heads. And I was like, what is happening right now? Like, is this for real? Um, so then one of the new heads comes down really close to me to like say hello. And I like kiss this dragon's head and I'm like saying hello to it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can feel the energy that this head is a different personality than the other head. Like they are different souls in each of these heads. So it was kind of crazy. So the head that I was greeting uh, just then, let's see, it was a female. Her name is Viln, V-I-L-N, Viln. Um, so I was like, okay. And so things are happening really fast. So my notes are like really scattered because this dragon was just going, going, going. So I say hi to this second dragon head. I haven't even had a chance to say hi to the third dragon head. And, um, the red tips on this black dragon change color, like, her eyes kind of changed color when I looked at it. It's like they went from being black eyes and they switched over to, like, this white, opal-essent, iridescent coloring so it was like a white base but like a rainbow kind of sheen over it and so her eyes flipped over and then all of the red tips flipped over into this white with the iridescent um so i was kind of like all right <laughs> let me get my notes um yeah oh and this happened to the jewels too so the jewels and the red tips everything that was red on the dragon flipped over into the white rainbow color and it's like Inyo is charged up now and ready to defend me. It was weird. It was like a button got pushed and now there was all this energy and power behind the dragon. As if there wasn't already, but it you could feel it. Um, So one of the heads I see starts ex exhaling fire. And I'm reading my own notes here. One of the heads exhales fire, and it's the color of the jewels on it now, an iridescent white. Um, oh, is that the... Okay. My notes are so bad here. I should have double-checked them before I <laughs> went over this with you guys. It's like I'm just writing in the moment to try to capture everything. So it was it was the third head also a male. So I have Inyo in the center. I have Vilm, who's a female, and I have another male over here who is, his name is Roan. And so he is the one who exhaled the fire, that the fire was the color of these white rainbow kind of tips. And I wish you guys could see this fire because it was something else. Like the way my clairvoyance is developing it's becoming um it's becoming much more detailed much more nuanced i'm seeing 
better detail of colors. So instead of just seeing like one or two colors, I'm able to see uh, like six or seven colors all in one spot at one time. Um, I'm I'm able to see the way the the flames are like rolling out of the dragon's mouth. Like it's just very it's it's crazy, and I wish I had a video instead of just trying to explain it to all of you. Um, so it's really cool to see. The flames are almost neon with the way they glow, but it's just white flames and it had like a blue, it's like white flames with like a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of pink, a little bit of yellow. It's really hard to explain. So I asked them, the dragons, dragon, I guess, if they can start working on the black magic now. Oh, if I can start. <laughs> right so they kept distracting me from doing my work so i was like can i work on this service now or like do you guys have more cool tricks that you need to like show me because the, you know every time i try to do something they're like you know they're the red turns to white and then then i'm trying to work again and they're like oh by the way check out my flames and they're like blown flames so i was like okay can i get can i do this service or do you have something else you need to show me and uh Roan, the head that I didn't hug yet, he starts blowing smoke rings. He's just like, like little smoke rings. <laughs> it's like, you guys are hilarious. Um, he changes the smoke because it's gr it's like normal smoke color, like the black gray color when it comes out of him. He changes the smoke to the white iridescent flame as a ring. He blows one around me. So it's like first he's like blowing him out here and then he like looks down on me and he blows a ring of smoke around me which is that crazy white neon iridescent smoke um inside the ring the frequency is different it feels unstable and like the air is blurry it's so and this is what i say it's so strong it wants to destroy the matrix even the spiritual world matrix. So, and what I mean by that is when he, whatever power is in that white iridescent color that he has control of, when he blew that ring of smoke around me, it like destabilized the environment. Like the, the visual environment of 3d was being interfered with. And it could also destabilize what I was seeing in my head, if that makes sense. So it could destabilize what I see with my physical eyes and it could destabilize what I see with my third eye. So that's kind of wild that it could knock out all, all forms of the matrix, the spiritual matrix, the earth matrix. I don't know. There's different matrices, I guess. So I reference it as the visual part of creation. And so I'm asking them, like, what kind of power is this? And I hear, and I don't normally hear things, but I heard a female voice, I don't know who, say creation power. Ice and fire. So it's almost like that energy, it's like God energy. It's like God is a fire. It's like so beautiful and so hypnotizing to look at, but it's like so powerful that really nobody, nobody should have access to that because it's just, you could accidentally destroy things. And so I'm you know, like looking at my dragon, I'm just like, please don't destroy the matrix. Like, please, please don't. I want to be incarnated right now. Please don't mess. <laughs> Please don't blow this whole thing up. So, Inyo, Vilm, and Roan. So that's my new dragon. I've been using them a lot um, for protection because nobody wants to mess with that fire that they can breathe out because it doesn't matter what you are. Spiritual, physical destabilizes it 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 doesn't destroy because it's impossible to destroy it changes 
what it is back down to like the building blocks and nobody wants to <laughs> be changed back down to, you know, a pile of amino acids or whatever it is. So yeah. So anyways, so this is my dragon. I have Amanda Ellis's Violet Dragon Spray. This is for Master Clearance and Danger Defense Spray. And that's because dragons are fantastic protectors. The other beings that are amazing at protection are like, I'm asking if I can say that. I'm like, can I say this? The other creatures that are probably better at protection than dragons, and that's why I asked if I could say that, are unicorns. Nobody thinks about that. Nobody. It, it's not the natural thought process to think, oh, I'm, man, I could really use some protection. I'm going to call them the unicorns, but that's literally what you would want to do because they have their energy is very transformative. It transforms dark into light. And so that's absolutely what you want to bring in if you're having a problem. Same concept with the dragons. The dragons are just um, using fire to destroy so that new things can be rebirthed. So it's a similar energy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this. I think that... What I want for all of you to get out of this is one, you can have a three headed dragon. Two, it's just a reminder that we all have at least one dragon guide. Everyone has a fire dragon guide. Many of you will have several other dragon guides um, that you've met from different lifetimes that have attachments to you that have protected you or guided you in other lifetimes and so they want to do that again for you now so dragon spray smells really good so just a reminder to make contact with your dragon guides to communicate with your dragon guides if you um want to connect further with yours or if you don't know who yours is you we have a dragon activation service on our website so if you want to have a dragon activation we can not only attune you so that you can better communicate with your guide we can also um, channel the, either the dragon collective or your personal dragon guide to give you more information on who it is that's trying to work with you right now from that side um, so that's everything that I have for you guys today. Um, my videos might be more sporadic lately. I, I hate having long gaps in between my videos, um, especially since I've kind of done like three, four, five videos a week the whole time I've been doing YouTube. But realistically, I can only put out what Metatron's giving me. And Metatron is giving me clients to work with and Metatron is giving me a book to write and he's not giving me a lot right now of other stuff that's supposed to be a video so he's telling me he'll give me something else this week there will be other stuff but it might be erratic it might be five videos one week and then nothing the next week or it might be two videos here and two videos there so just warning you so you know and this is everything that I have for you guys today. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.